Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for a symmetric beam in just one minute. So let's consider these, there are three types of the beam and they are symmetrically loaded. So how to find out their support reactions in a very easy and simple way. So first start with this beam. This is a simply supported beam and there is a uniformly distributed load acting on this beam. So let's consider this support A and this is support B. So this can resist the vertical loads are A and this will be RB. So to find out these support reactions, so the total load is 3 kN per meter. So just multiply this distributed load over the length. So 3 kN per meter multiply this with the distributed length 4 meter 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 will be cancelled so we got 12 kilonewton so now divide this load by 2 because half load will be taken by this support and half load will be taken by this support so RA is equal to RB is equal to 12 divided by 2 equal to 6 kilonewton so it means 6 kilonewton taken by this support and 6 kilonewton taken by this support so this is the easy way to find out the support reactions when there is a symmetric loading on the beam. Now let's consider this example. There is also symmetric loading on this beam. We can see here half of the load acts on this portion of the beam and half load acts on this portion of the beam. While in the middle portion of the beam there is no load. So how to find out their support reactions? Let's consider this support A and this is support B. So it will resist the vertical reaction RA and it will be RB. To find out this RA and RB, we will simply multiply the distributed load over the length. So this is 2 kN per meter distributed over the 3 meter. So 2 kN per meter multiplying it with the 3 and plus this is also distributed over 3 meter. 2 kN per meter multiplying it with the 3 meter. Here is also meter, so meter meter will be cancelled. We got 6 kN plus 6 kN, 236. So we got 12 kN again. So if we divide this by 2, because half of the load will be taken by this and half of the load will be taken by this. So RA is equal to RB is equal to 12 divided by 2 equal to 6 kN. So each support takes again the 6 kN load. Now it should be kept in mind that we divide this by 2 because there is a symmetric condition on the beam. If we look to the load, so this load is equally with equal to this load. That's why I divide by 2 and there is no load at the center of the beam. If there is some other load at the center of the beam at different distance, so we should not divide it by 2 but we should find it by equilibrium equation method. So this is the way to find out the support reaction when there is a symmetric loading on the beam. Similarly, if we look to this beam, this is also an overhanging beam with a uniformly distributed load acting at the center of the beam and two loads, pointed loads acting at the two ends of the beam. So to find out the support reactions at A at B, R A and R B, what should we do now? We should multiply this distributed load 3 kN per meter over the 6 meter distance so 3 kN per meter multiplying it with the 6 meter plus 4 kN and 4 kN meter meter will be cancelled we got here 18 kN plus 4 kN plus 4 kN so we got 8 kN so the total load comes out to be 26 kN now I will again this divide by 2 so we will get RA is equal to RB equal to 26 by 2 equal to 13 kN. So half of the load is taken by this support and half of the load is taken by this support. It should be kept in mind when you have symmetric loading on the beam then you can just divide the load the total load by 2 then you can find out the support reaction for each support. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.